for this particular customer id the different number of products what is the number of times they have been ordered so guys welcome back to our channel this channel Aveda science is all about trying to learn various concepts under the science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the advanced equal 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced equal problems and topics like select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and joins subqueries and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions in this video we are going to solve this question called the most frequently ordered products for each customer and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 45th video of the series called the most frequently ordered products for each customer and let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called customers with two different columns customer id and name customer id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the customers we are also given a second table called orders with four different columns order id order date customer id and product id order id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about orders made by the customer id no customer will order the same product more than once in a single day then we are also given a third table called products with three different columns product id product name and price product id is the column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the products we are asked to write a solution to find the most frequently ordered product or products for each customer the result table should have the product id product name for each customer id who ordered at least one order okay Let's go through this example. Here we have various records in the customers table, in the orders table, in the products table, and in our output we need the product ID, product name, and customer ID. So we do not need customer name and customer ID is already in the orders table. So actually, to solve this question, you don't even need the customers table, right? So we can use the orders table as well as the products table, and we need to find okay for every customer ID what is the most frequently ordered product so if we look at customer id 1 to so customer id 1 orders product id 1 2 2 and 2 so 2 is obviously ordered by this customer three number of times which is the most so in our output we should have customer id 1 product id 2 and the name of the product is mouse and that is what we have in our output similarly we can go ahead and do for customer id 2 3 4 etc so to solve this question since we need the name of the product as well as the customer id and product id which are in two different tables namely orders and products the first thing that we should do is we should join these two tables so if let me switch to excel so that i can demonstrate it so this is what we have orders table and the products table and we can use the product id column of the orders table and the product id column of the products table to get the product name so once we join we are going to basically have this table so four columns coming from the orders table and the products name product name coming from the products table and this is what we are interested about so let us go ahead and try to do this so from this table called orders aliased as o if i left to join the products table aliased as p on o dot product id is equal to p dot product id and then we are only interested in what all columns so select o dot star all four columns from the orders even though we do not need this order date but let's just keep it from for the sake and then we are only interested interested in the product name so p dot product name okay so once we have this then what we do is now what we need to do is for every customer id we need to find which product is the most frequently ordered product so what we can do is we can make partitions so for every customer id then for every product id what is the number of times it was ordered so what we mean by that is we are going to have something like this so customer id 1 ordered two different products product id 1 and product id 2 right how many times product id 2 was ordered 3 and how many times product id 1 was ordered 1 similarly for customer id 2 three different products order everything once so how can we attain this we can use the window function so what we are doing is let's count the order id so o dot order id so number of times a product has been ordered by over partition by for every customer so o dot customer id and also o dot product id so for every customer every product how many times it was ordered and let me alias this as frequency so as frequency let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output 
So if we look at our output, right? So this is exactly the same thing that we have here, right? So this entire thing that, okay, for this particular customer ID, the different number of products, what is the number of times they have been ordered? So now once we have this, what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression called CTE1. So how can we do that? Let me just drag it down. CTE1 as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses. And now what we need to do is on this CTE one, what we can do is we, we need to find for every customer ID, what is the highest ordered product. So what we can do is from this common table expression one partition by the customer ID order by frequency in decreasing manner and assign ranks. So what we can do is from this common table expression one, if I do return all the columns and let's make a new column by ranking. So dense rank and then over partition by customer id partition by customer id and then order by frequency in decreasing manner and let's alias this as rank okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if i go ahead and see my output it would be exactly the same so here it is like difficult to uh, visualize let me just drag it to the left if it would be easier so yeah this is exactly the same thing right so for example uh, customer id one ordered two 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 thrice so this is ranked one and then this is ranked two and so on so basically this is what this is the table that we have here okay we can write chained common table expressions so we learned about common table expressions in our previous video in the series that okay common table expressions can be used to organize our queries so we got the common table expression one and we can use this as a table so in common table expression two right we are basically using this ct one and then adding a new column called rank so how can we do this here so let me just drag it down so to write chained common table expression you can just simply go ahead and put a comma and then write okay this is my common table expression 2 and this this entire thing goes into parenthesis oh so ct2 as so now ct2 basically is this table and we are only interested in what all rank is equal to one that is the most frequently ordered so what we can do now is from this common table expression two, we are only interested in those rows where rank is equal to one. And then we can return the customer ID, product ID and product name. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So if I look at my output here, I can see a number of repetitions, right? So to have only distinct pairs, I can just simply go ahead and write return distinct combinations of customer ID, product ID and product name. So now this is accepted. My output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So in this, what we learned is how can we write change common table expression? So here we perform the first common table expression by basically performing a join. Then we kept only the desired columns as well as created the frequency column for every customer ID and product ID, save this in a common table expression one. So we use that to create another common table expression. And then based on that, we kept only those rows where rank is equal to one, which basically signifies the most frequently ordered product. And then we kept the distinct combinations of customer id product id and product so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video